Like I could have, one, I could have been there. Like it was around the time I'm usually there. It was in an area that I usually, like not many people go to the this far end of the harbor. They usually stay for the touristy start, spots, you know, like where the beaches are, not where the gross boats are and the weird little shack at the end of the raft is just like, it looks like uh, one of those abandoned uh, buildings near a lighthouse because it's not a lighthouse obviously lighthouses are big old cylinders uh so it's not a lighthouse but it's one of those weird creepy looking buildings that's near a lighthouse and you're like what does this building even do oh it regulates the lighthouse it's like okay thanks anyway Dun 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 dun. Okay, so uh, hello and howdy do do do. Uh, I'm gonna be starting on this camera because this is the one, the view at least we're all used to. But yeah, we're gonna be doing the audio and main camera stuff here uh, with the GoPro because the mic. I don't know what happened, and I do apologize because I'm just I just left it in those. I, tried for a while uh, in the second video. Uh, actually, that's why it took a little bit longer. Fell asleep editing, very fun. Um, and just trying to get this, it has like a hum in it. You'll obviously notice in both videos, it's like throughout, almost sounds like I'm at the ocean the whole time, which there's no, like I thought maybe there's wind, maybe there's something in the background. No, there, was, there were no uh, surrounding noises. So I'm not too sure what happened. Um, but I'm just guessing the microphones, it's pretty old. It's like a year and a half now. So, and I don't, I knock it around pretty heavily. So it could just be beat up now. We don't know. But anyway, so that mic is gone. There's no more, no more stuff here. New shirt. I know crazy stuff. I'm wearing Mike's shirt now. Um, so actually to address this, it's because uh, it's a, it's my lookalike, my hair challenge, whatever. Uh, I wrote down, because <laughs> uh, I said I had two. I did say that. I was like, oh, good, I only have two, and I'll do it in two of my three videos. No, 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 no. I wrote two different, it's true, I wrote two different things. I wrote uh, Little Rascals Bully, and I wrote Little Giants Bully. And I just forgot to, once I found out that they were the same person that I was thinking of, I was thinking of Butch from yesterday. Very fun, Butch. After that, they, um... Yeah, uh, I just kind of left it. I didn't didn't really correct that mistake, and I didn't really look up another one. So I'm going to use an old. This is from videos, not even uh, podcasts. So I look like. Uh, oh, geez, I'm going to have to get it in this camera too. Ah, uh, whatever, it'll be fine. Uh, I look like T.J. Detweiler from Recess. I don't. How does he smile? Anyway, T.J. Detweiler. So there's my lookalike. Um, Anyway, I was, I was editing yesterday and could not get that audio figured out. So now we have camera number two, switching into camera one position, because the audio on this thing is incredible. Um, the only thing was when I had it in this position, for some reason, I'm going to address on this camera. For some reason on this area, and I'm guessing it's some weird, like, no, not weird, I'm just guessing it's because how it sounded light travel but it's so weird to see it played out in two cameras that are like right beside each other the audio from the gopro lines up with the beginning of the audio from this one but then if i leave the whole audio in the whole clip it doesn't line up over time like they're just slightly different and i think it's just because the sound that it would have to or the time it would take to travel to this camera is shorter than I would have to take to that one. So that one would just be a little bit behind, but then, I, like, that was my thought behind it, but then I'm pretty sure the GoPro was the one that was behind. So, yeah, no, I don't know. I have no idea what was going on. But yeah, the audio wouldn't match up. I had no idea what was going on. Because I almost just sent it right through, and then I cl accidentally clicked to the end of the video, and it was way off, like, not even close. And I was like, oh, did I... I mess up? Like, what did I do here? What did I do wrong here? Because I, I mess up. 
I'm not going to claim myself to be the most responsible person when it comes to video editing. No, 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 no. And technology in general. And microphone. I just mess up. It happens. So there we are. Uh, I was so excited to maybe be able to figure this out. Nope. Nope. Audio editing did nothing. It just kept a fuzzy. I actually found out how to get the fuzz to sound like you're in space. And there's like a laser constantly being shot near you. And so like in space, there, your voice would be super muted. Like you'd be in a suit. So it'd sound like you're like, and then there's just a giant laser noise. The whole night. Oh, it did sound really cool, but I didn't think we'd want to put up with 25 minutes of that. So I just kept it with the annoying ocean sound in the background. I do apologize. Now, uh, to get into this, uh, this is a weird video um, for those fans of Anthony Jeselnik. I hope you find uh, some appreciation in what I'm getting at here. But this is very different. Kind of is pretty different. Uh, I want to start all this by saying I'm not ever excited, uh, eager to hear about, uh, or looking forward to reading about uh, death or someone dying or being seriously hurt. Not something I'm always like, Ha 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 ha. Other people's expense. Ha 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 ha. No, 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 no. That is not always the case. Usually, very sympathetic. I'm like, oh my god, hope you're okay. If they're dead, they're not okay, but I hope the people around them are doing as good as they can be, I guess. Well, sorry, grammar police. Anyway, so that's how I want to preface all this. But when there are instances, I don't want to say deaths, because that just sounds bad if you just laugh. Anyway, if there are instances leading to someone's uh, unfortunate demise that just so happen to be like either just so unquestionably, what are you doing? Like a Darwin Award winner or something like that? Or just kind of defying the laws of being alive and staying alive and trying to stay alive. Um, so regularly with this nice warm weather, now that I'm in Toronto and I have a nice uh, seascape, I'll say, just a nice view to go look at, I like to walk down to the harbor side on nice mornings. I usually go, I wake up early because I don't really sleep too well. And I've actually been, no, that's, I'll take that, I'll retract that because I've been sleeping better and I still wake up early. So I just wake up early. Anyway, uh, I go down usually around like seven, eight o'clock, somewhere in that range, I walk down. I just walk along the harbor front a couple hours, boop, bop, 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 and then I come back up. Not that hard. I mean, it's not like I'm, and I don't, that's not my run. I don't, these aren't runs. This is a walk. It's a nice, pleasant time. I'm not out there trying to burn, I guess I am trying to burn calories, but I'm not, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not being a fit guru guy. I'm just walking, just being a guy. Like, hey, look at that ocean. That's a lake. So, stuff like that. Anyway, I'm walking down. I'm just checking out they have these music gardens anyway this isn't even I don't know why I'm telling you about a day that I go down I'm just saying that I do regularly go down there that's all I have to say uh so I go down and then one day I was like you know what I'm gonna hold off uh I was actually writing writing series I was writing something in there so half a page worth of stuff that kept me from going on a walk so I'm walking in my apartment thinking about going on my harbor side walk and I get uh a news article pops up on my phone. I'm like, hmm, what is this? What could this be? Uh, and a man had fallen in to and drowned in the harbor at around 8 o'clock on that morning. And I'm sitting there. I'm going, wow. Wow. Like, I could have... One, I could have been there. Like, it was around the time I'm usually there. It was in an area that I usually, like, not many people go to the this far end of the harbor. They usually stay for the touristy start, spots, you know, like where the beaches are. Not where the gross boats are and the weird little shack at the end of the raft is just, like, it looks like uh, one of those abandoned uh, buildings near a lighthouse. Because it's not a lighthouse, obviously. Lighthouses are big old cylinders uh so it's not a lighthouse but it's one of those weird creepy looking buildings that's near a lighthouse and you're like what does this building even do oh it regulates the lighthouse it's like okay thanks anyway so it's a harborside building where it probably does boat stuff marina i think that's the word for it so anyway 
down at the harbor side is where I usually look. That's where the guy had fallen in. Now, again, you're like, wow, Kim, why is this humorous to you? Why are you in such a, why do you have to preface all this by saying you don't, aren't excited by death? This sounds like a tragic event. Well, so what happened was, if I continued reading the article, and that's the problem, because they wrote what had happened leading up to this guy. They could have just said a man accidentally fell into the harbor and despite efforts could not get pulled out in time. Because instead the article outlined how he fell in and pretty quickly a woman jumped in to help and someone threw in one of those life-saving donuts. I don't know. I've never, I'm not ever going to put myself in a situation where I'm going to need one of those. So I did not learn the name of it. But uh, a buoy ring, donut ring, was thrown in after him. Uh, I was, you know, I wasn't at the water that day, but I was close enough to know that it wasn't drastically windy. Uh, I could imagine the waters being a little choppy. They usually are in the morning. But again, I can dotty paddle pretty well. I swim to save my life. I do not consider myself anywhere near like a Michael Phelps. No, that's a pretty polar end of the spectrum there. But I, I can swim in the sense that you couldn't, it wouldn't be categorized as drowning or not being able to swim. Cause it's just enough where you're like, that's swimming. Like you said you couldn't swim, that is swimming. Uh, so I can, I can swim, I'll say that. But I am so bad, I am just bad enough to know that I don't need to go near water if I'm not having a shower or bath. Uh, I don't need to all the water looks the same. Niagara Falls, lakes, oceans, puddles. It's water. Like, yeah, it gets a lot bluer when there's more of it. Cool. That's so fun. I don't need to be two feet away from it to know tis that, you know? Just keep your distance. It's water. That shit will kill you, as evidenced by this dumbass. So, anyway, he's in the water. Someone jumps in. Now here's where it starts. Oh, and also there was a very fast response time by, uh, so they said at 8.18 is when, around when the guy fell in. And the response time was they were there at like 8, before 8.30, it was like 8.24, 8.25. Excuse me, so, excuse me. So again, just a little confused, you know? Like, I, I can doggy paddle for maybe, or tread water for maybe three minutes. And then it takes three minutes to drown. So that's six minutes. So if he fell in at 18 and he got, let's say they were 25, that's still one minute of being, like, drowned. So I still think revivable, you know? I still think of that. Anyway, uh, unf no, let's stop saying unfortunately. This guy, he's, um, he's, he's down there. He's in the water. This, this person had jumped in. Now, this person was, and I think this may be where his, uh, his, manliness kind of came into into play here. Uh, the person that jumped in was a woman that tried to help him. So another thing popped in my head is, did this guy, was he just so masculine and stubborn that he's like, saved by a lady when I really don't need that much help? I can do this. One second, ma'am. Just please stay on the shore. And then he gets hit with a donut. And that might have just made him mad getting hit with a life-saving donut. And then he could have been like, you know what? Give this to the woman. She needs it. Maybe that's what he's thinking. So this, again, this is why it's starting to get funny is because he had help. Like, this guy's in the water. He's, uh, again, I can't find out. He could have been quadriplegic and, like, uh, was tipped out of his chair. He could have been pushed in. He might have been drunk. They don't say these things. They say a guy fell into the water. He got a lot of help that was unexpected. And he still died. Well, you know, that, that's, that's it. Like, even the, they talked to the chief of, I, th I think they talked to the uh, fire chief, which was funny. Um, but they talked to him, and all he said was, yeah, water's dangerous. Uh, we just want people to understand that you should respect the water, always be responsible and safe when being around one of the lakes. Now, again, he's not at the ocean, so I can understand being a little, like, this ain't seawater whatever but he's at one of the lakes and again maybe he didn't know how to swim 
but you know, you're near a lake uh, that is, it's one of these lakes that, again, not an ocean, but it's so big that along with four other lakes, people in this whole continent have deemed it, you know what, these five, they're notable. They, these are these are great lakes here. These are some some significant lakes that we've got. These are different from all the other lakes we have in the country. These five lakes. And this guy, he lives near one of them. So I'm just saying, you know, it's not him, obviously. Can't, but, you know, maybe other people that aren't so confident around water, maybe not the best swimmers, just controlled environments. You know, go to a pool. A bathtub first. Let's not get out of hand if you really can't swim. Uh, bathtub with a friend. Um, once you've graduated from the bathtub, yeah, pool. Uh, they have those uh, near big pools. They have small kids' pools that you can go into. Ask a lifeguard and say, hey, I read about this man who died with all this help. I'm not a good swimmer. I don't want to do that. I want, I want to be able to save myself had I fallen in. To this water and had someone trying to help me and then had a donut there that could have kept me alive and also maybe had the police there pretty quickly after I had fallen. Maybe I could get out of the water if I knew how to swim. But uh, you tweets are on, you know? I'm not trying to tell people how to live their life, you know? This guy, maybe he only wanted to be like 38, 39. Some people, it seemed, from the story, seemed like this was all he had in him. It seemed like he was like, no... This could have been a suicide, and then the lady just didn't get the memo. And she's just in there, hey, I'm trying to help you, Greg. He's like, Sandy, I said I was going into the water. I did not say when I was coming out, and I did not say how I was coming out. So I don't know why you assumed that I needed help. I knew what I was doing. I planned this. Please get out, Sandy. And then some guy throws the raft at him, hits him in the head, and he's like, Sandy, take this. Get back to shore. Stay safe. I'm going to drown right now. And then I think he did, just dove under and took some sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, it's not salt water, so lakey drinks. That's all. Um, but yeah, so then I was like, okay, I should talk about this. And I almost, last night, uh, you'll notice, maybe you won't notice, I actually can't tell. I don't seem too tired. But I am tired uh, because at... I went to bed, uh, like I said, I was maybe like 11, 10, 11 o'clock last night. I was editing, and I was just oh, so tired. So I went to bed nice and early. I was like, I'll wake up early, and I'll finish editing these. I'll get them out to the people who are dying. They're like, damn, we need these. So I was working, fell asleep. And then I wake up to uh, our building's fire alarm, which is just wah, 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 wah. And then after, usually, I should say, usually after like the fifth or sixth one, uh, you get, uh, it cuts in to our building security and they go, may I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? There is a fire in, and then they say which tower, there are like three different towers of the building. They say which tower, where, what the fire department, and what we should do as people in the building. So that's usually after like the fifth, maybe the sixth one. So this was happening... Again, I wake up to it, and I hear five or six. I'm like, okay, what? Do I have to leave my bed, or am I okay? Uh, five or six go by. Another five or six go by. It was a solid, like, two or three minutes before the beeping finally stopped, and then it goes, may I have your attention? And then it cuts, and there's no beeping. There's no guy over the intercom. There's nothing. I'm like, oh. This is starting to get worrisome, you know? This is where we're gonna... This is where we might start seeing smoke in the building. Um, but no, uh, then it just went back to the... Bah, bah, bah. Uh, then maybe 10 blahs later, not minutes, 10 of those, uh, a, the guy came back and said, May I have attention? Sorry about the disturbance. A homeless man has pulled the fire alarm. I'm sorry about the disturbance. A homeless man has pulled the fire alarm. Please go back to, and I, he, again, he said, please, oh, yeah, he didn't say please go back. He said, please uh, disregard the alarm. You got it. 
Uh, so you'd think that then they would just turn off the alarm and that's the end. You would think. So uh, that, again, that maybe took 10 minutes total for him to say it's a homeless man. And I w the beeping did cut out for about a minute. So it wasn't 10 minutes of constant beeping. But it felt like it. And then at the end, so he says homeless man did this. No beeping for 30 seconds. And then I get beep, 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 beep. Another five. And the guy comes back and says, I apologize for the alarm. A homeless man has pulled the alarm. And just does the same thing, but in slightly different words. And that happened. Uh, so after the second time, it happened two more times. Just the same thing. I, I think it might have been the same phrases back to back. But yeah, it just... Beep, beep, beep. At two in the morning, you know, they have control over it at a certain point. Um, I know that the fire department does have to, like, in serious situations, they do have to override and shut the alarm off themselves. I don't think this was one of those serious situations. I think this was a case where they most definitely could have just been like, okay, well, there's no alarm. It's just this homeless guy pulling it out front. Let's just silence it for, like, 20 minutes while the fire alarm or department gets here. Nope, we're gonna keep everyone buzzing. And good thing it wasn't like, oh, it is a uh, vacation, uh, holiday, that's the word, holiday day. So yeah, that, that probably, maybe they didn't care too much, but that's still funny to me. I thought that was hilarious. It, I will, after, after all the beeping, to hear, and he was urgent too. I know I was kinda, it seemed like I was kinda putting on a desperation voice to him. That was all him. They, I didn't even get enough of it, to be honest. I just, I took what I could and put it out there. He was so, like, he, you could tell he, it was hurting him. He's like, this is, I'm going to hear about this for a while. There's a homeless man. I'm sorry for the alarm. A homeless man pulled it. And it's like, okay, whatever, guy. And it gave me a right giggle that night, but, oh, shit, it was the way I wanted to wake up this morning. Uh, so I did, I tried to go back to sleep, didn't work so hot. Uh, I went to bed at like four, I woke up at seven. Yeah, so that's that. Um, so there we are, we have three videos now coming. Uh, that was you know, a man drowning in Lake Ontario. Moral of the story, swimming lessons, especially if your kids are gonna like the water. Swimming lessons definitely swimming lessons, then that way, that's me. I hate the water. I hate the water. Taking a shower is, I like taking a shower. That's, I won't say that. Taking a bath is planned out. That is a monthly thing if I, if I do it. I actually don't care for baths so much that I don't need one in my place. So don't have a, I haven't had a bath. Oh, I did have a bath there. Wow, I've actually, uh, okay, so I guess I just haven't noticed my bathtubs in a couple places. But, get swimming lessons. Don't drown in Lake Ontario. A great lake is basically an ocean, especially if you've never been to the ocean. Um, happy birthday, Izzy Biz. Oh, yeah, wait, oh, okay. So that should have been the intro, outro, whatever. Uh, but what it is going to be, is I'm going to actually do more verbal shout-outs for my Twitter and email. And Twitch, too, now. Uh, just ducking around. I looked it up. Just ducking around. Just ducking around is the Twitch. If you want to twit at that Twitter, excuse moi, Mr. Duck, uh, you have CVWPTFTP, and that's the at is at the beginning of that because it's a Twitter, and I still can't get used to that. It's at CVWP TFTP. Cam's Varied Week podcast. Twitter for the podcast. Easy peasy. Uh, then, same scheme for the email. CVWP EMFTP at gmail.com. CVWP uh, Cam's Varied Week podcast. Email for the podcast. So, that is that. This camera is saying that it's not recording, which I don't like. And I really hope that it is. Uh, so, I'm I really hope that we have everything. I know I have the audio, so I might just switch over to this camera if I need to. Um, but 
Otherwise, have a great Monday. Happy birthday, Izzy Biz again. And, um... I don't know. I would say America, but America sucks, so... Mm.